Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Nvidia Shield TV console and I wanted to test some Amiga games. One of my viewers sent me some really awesome HDF games that he converted himself and he asked me to try them out. This same viewer actually got me into Amiga. He kept asking me, try Amiga on this system, different systems that I do on my YouTube channel, and I kind of fell in love with it. Now I've always used UAE for all, and I'm just going to show you real quick. I love this because this is really what I first started with. I love the look of this. I know some of you are like, man, that looks super hard or that's pretty ugly. I actually like it. And once you get into it, everything's super easy to understand, but the performance on the shield and a lot of other arm devices isn't up to par with UAE for arm. We're going to be using UAE for ARM, and I've already set it up. Right here, we'll just insert an HDF game, and I'll click Reset or Resume. Actually, we'll reset. First game I'm going to try is Turrican 3. Really awesome games. Now, I haven't played any of these games that he sent me. He's been a big Amiga fan for a long time. Like I said, he kind of got me into it. And he's been showing me great games for the Amiga. And these games he sent me this time, are crazy good, like really awesome. This is part three. I also have part one and part two. In my opinion, part two is way better. The music is awesome, and I'm gonna try to record this music without getting flagged. Hopefully we'll be able to do that. So when you use this emulator here, I'm gonna go back real quick. If you ever set this up, make sure you have auto fire off. Now I can, you can use your controller, but I find it easier to use a mouse in this menu here. Auto fire will be automatically set to medium. Make sure it's off because we need auto fire to be off to use some of the features in these games. We'll resume. We'll play a little bit here. Make sure that's up. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Really, really awesome music. Now part two is kicking. And we'll use this one. So I love, you know, side-scrolling adventure games like Mario and things like that. So to me, this is like Mario with a machine gun mixed with Bionic Commando. And I'll show you in a second what I mean by Bionic Commando. Really, really awesome game. So we'll go here, we'll hold fire for a second. Now, I'm still trying to get used to this here. Oh, gosh. I'm trying to get used to this game myself. He's probably not going to be able to be killed until... Whoa. My fault there. I want to get him out of the way. Come on. Alright, we're just going to have to go up there. And he's going to kill me? No, I got it. Sweet. So yeah, I'm still trying to get used to the swing mechanics in this game. A little power-up shield. And I do like the spread shot. But that green fireball shot seems to work a lot better. Oh, come on. Get out of there. So yeah, to tell you guys the truth, I don't really know where to go. This is the first time I've played this game. Well, actually, this is the second time that I've played this game. And it looks like we're going down here to fight a boss, maybe. Oh, jeez. At least I kept my power-ups. And there was another special that I could do. I just can't get it to pull off. It was either holding down and hit that special button. And you just go... It was either in part one or part two. But it, you went crazy. You turned into a crazy blade thing and laid a bunch of bombs and just floated around the screen like a madman.
Ah, oh, these crazy slug monsters. All right, we're going to get out of here. I know this video is getting long already. Let's go back, and we're going to try. We'll delete that one, add a new hard file. Now, sometimes I'm not sure what the deal is. I have to hit this twice. We're going to try Tubular Worlds. Sometimes you have to hit that twice. Click OK. We're going to reset. Reset will just start the new game for us. The cool thing about the shield is this controller is already set up. The shield controller, if you're using the stock controller that comes with it, it works perfectly. Turn auto fire off and you should be good to go. UAE for all seemed to be a little laggy with this game. That's why I switched to UAE for arm. I do suggest starting out with UAE for arm, actually. On the NVIDIA Shield, it just works so much better. Oh. So this already has auto fire built in, so I just hold my button. I guess you could turn auto fire on and turn it up to fast and you may be able to shoot a little quicker in this game. Now I've never had a chance to play these on a real Amiga, so I'm not sure how the performance is, but from where I sit, playing this for the first time, I have to say this is running at full speed. Oh man. And let me know if you've tried these, you know, on a real Amiga or a better emulator, a full speed PC emulator. If this is running at full speed or not, I can't, I can't really tell if it's slowed down. I don't think it is. I'm pretty confident that this is full speed here. And this is a two player game. So if you have another shield controller, hook it up, turn on the other controller and choose two players. You should have two people on screen and be able to jam out all night long. Be really, really fun with two people. All right, back out of here. Last game for this video. I'm definitely gonna be making more videos here. And I was able to load up Workbench in this UAE for ARM and UAE for all. I'll be making a video on that very shortly in a few days. Turrican 2 1.7. Not only is the gameplay really awesome for an Amiga game, but the music is some of the best music I've ever heard in a video game. Now I know a lot of you aren't gonna agree with me, but if you're watching this video, you love old school games and you love the music that comes with it, so. You may agree. Dude, listen to that music. One of my favorite bands in the world is The Cure. And you can say what you want, I don't mind. But I've listened to them for years and years and years, and I still keep going back to them. Can't get enough of them. I don't listen to gangster rap or anything like that, so. Dude, I am balling with this freaking blast over here. This is crazy. And if you hold your fire, you get this awesome laser chainsaw type, I don't know what to call it, but whatever it is, it destroys everything. Oh god, I ran into a hive, didn't I? Bounce, bounce. So yeah, one of the best games I've ever played, if not the best game I have played so far in the Amiga. Now, if you're into Amiga, you may know a 
better games than this, but man, I love this game. Hopefully I can find time, oh, to play through the whole thing. This is my second second time playing this, and I've made it a little further than this. First time, and I, I actually, I didn't die as many times as I have already. I was just uh, a little more careful about it. And you run into these freaking hives. Oh. Yeah, I did. I'm almost dead again. <gasps> Woo! What's going on there? There we go. One up. Oh man. Oh. So that was the right spot to go down. That's it for now, guys. If you know of more Amiga games you want me to try out, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Holy crap, this thing is crazy looking. This is not going to work. Why did I even try that? In the next few days, I'm going to be doing a Workbench 3.1 install within UAE for ARM on the NVIDIA Shield. I'll do it for UAE for All also. I just do the tutorial on UAE for ARM. Very simple, you just need a couple files and it works very, very well. Like always, thanks for watching.